it's stuff that we've just kind of sat down and we've not taken our time to think about because the idea of thinking about it is too exhausting. Yeah. The idea of, the idea of like having to deal with it is too exhausting, but then we can't sit down and say that we want to see change. Killer, killer, podcast. Killer, killer, official .com. <laughs> you need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Killer Keller Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct, central London, or as central as you need to be, could be or want to be. You know the drill, you know the outcome. I say it every week. Free download, television app, street culture, and more. If you're into the sport of art, and we've got you. Free download, Android, iPhone. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Man, what are you saying? Yeah, we're zooming it. We're going across country to a man with his vocal elasticity. I'm the fan. I'm the fan first, man. Sam Henshaw inside the place. What are we saying? Good, man. I'm good. How are you? I'm better now. I'm better now, <laughs> boy. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you for having me, man. <laughs> it's all good. How are you? How's it going? I'm good. I'm, um, I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm trying to like, I feel like I'm, 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 I'm just like, I'm in a zone. I don't know what zone it is, but I'm in one and I'm just kind of like, all right, cool. I'm just kind of accepting what it is and and, and and going with it. But I'm good. You know what I think it is? You know what I think it is? I think what's thrown us here is for the last year and a half, we've been in a place that we do not know what we're doing in. Yes. And then all of a sudden you're loud and we're out and like the sun's shining. Like, yeah. hold on, there's, there's got to be something wrong here. It all, yeah, it almost <laughs> feels too good to be true almost. You're kind of just like, what? Like, I'm allowed to do stuff? Like, it's just, yeah, it's proper weird. And what's cold is like the application of all the things we've learned throughout the year and a bit, we, you know, in our hibernation, things like this. It's almost like come to fruition. It's actually yeah. so fucking cool that we can do the Zoom and, yeah. you know in our hectic schedules and it not feel a thing yeah for sure for sure yeah it's, it's it's yeah it's interesting to be able to yeah that we're in this place now that we get that we actually are we have the ability to like do these types of things it's great yeah yeah it's great it's great and for those yeah. of you that don't know about the sam henshaw it's, it's absolutely fine you go online and you check some of the most harmonious musical elements that are out there that are like I went into a couple of rabbit holes over the yeah. last few days, my friend. Oh, man. <laughs> so sick, oh, wait. I appreciate like, it, man. Thank you. And a little bit of me is like, you know, because you know when you've heard the name of a person, but mm. um, complacently, you just, you, you, know that you, you know that they exist as music, but you don't know how deep. And yeah. they're, they've all, they're always there. They're in your yeah. peripheral. So you yeah. don't, you don't, you know, you, you, you know it's going to come, but you just don't get there. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I you know what I'm saying? Lot, I do that with a lot of artists where I'm like, oh yeah, I know who that is. But I'm like, I, I actually need to like, it takes me a while before I make the, the conscious decision to actually go and like dive deeply into it. But why and, is that? Why do we do that as people? I don't know. Maybe it's like, it could be like, I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like maybe it's a bit of laziness from my part where I'm just like, hmm. it's like, oh yeah, procrastination almost like, oh, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that another day. Um, yeah. But then I think there's also maybe another side of it where it's a bit more like it takes a lot to actually, I think maybe sometimes knowing that you need to, that if you're going to go and listen to something or someone you're actually going to go quite deep into it. And so maybe it's just that idea of like, oh, I need to brace myself and sort of prep myself and feel like I'm kind of somewhat ready before I dive deeply into, into that thing. Um, I don't know. I think you're right. I think there's a bit of that. I was talking to uh, a friend the other day. We were talking about MF Doom. Yeah. And there was just this moment of pause and clarity as to, because... As an artist, he's got such a back catalogue and legacy. Yeah. And, you know, whether you know of MF Doom's music or not, you'll know the face mask. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's just this sort of like, he's this entity that's always there. Yeah. And to know that he's not there and to not have, I don't know, it's not that people weren't giving him his flowers or anything, but it's just, it, it you just presume it's going to be forever. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Prince as well. We, it's yeah. Like we, we, we took, we sort of, it's kind of, it kind of is like taking those people for granted to a degree because we're like, you know, when when they are around this it's like oh yeah they'll be there forever and then you know obviously mm. l- like the music wise and legacy wise they, they always will but it's like oh man i'm never gonna be able to see that person in a concert now i'm never gonna mm. you know which has become a big thing for me actually i'm i'm sort of like i need to if 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 there's someone that is still alive today that i need to see in concert i'm gonna make sure i go to that gig with both, um, with both feet jumping in it. Yeah, man, because you never know. You never know the way people are, like, going now. It's just kind of, you know, we're human. So, yeah. excuse me, I'm um, eating grapes. No, it's all right. You're good. Hey, listen, this... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever makes you comfortable, bro. It's your podcast. You're killing it. <laughs> and I've got so much. I've got so much ammo to offload on you. I've got so many questions. But, yeah. but you know, in terms of, like, Prince, man, I mean, listen... Again, this is your podcast. I'm taking it. This is very much an influence of yours because when I hear you, your vogue. I mean, the, the freedom in which I think you write and you express yourself, it leans, it leans to an, an era of integrity such as Prince, doesn't it? I appreciate that, man. It means a lot. <laughs> True. <means> <laughs> Thank you. The numbers don't lie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So I guess the inspiration would would Prince be? I, I'm assuming he's up there. Definitely. Um, he did things. Uh, uh, it's weird because I always, a, a lot of what I, when I listen to someone like Prince or I, I don't know, even if I like watch a movie or something from, from you know, the 80s, 90s, 70s, whenever it was, just the time before now. Mm. I always wonder like what that must have felt like to hear and see those things at that time and it being the first of 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 that of whatever it was and when i think about someone like prince and the fact that he was he really was just doing stuff that no one was doing mm-hmm. at that time he was just so unique and so whenever i i listen to him and just like you know lyrically um you know obviously musically and, and just the things that he was doing and the stuff that he was just, mm. it was, it was, yeah, it was just insane to me yeah. to, to think that that was happening at that time. And I think that made him way more, when I listen to what he does, it's just that much more special to me. Yeah. Um, and especially as, as you know, um, yeah, as a black man, I guess during that time as well, just what he was doing was just, you're kind of just, yeah. You, sure. You, you're kind of just like, wow, that that wasn't, yeah, it wasn't normal. Like people really, people really don't um, recognize how unique of an individual musician and just artist mm. Prince was, um, mm. just in everything that he did. Um, you know, even to, down to the way that he dressed, just everything about him was just so unique. I know. You know what you, you were so right you're so right yeah because like, it's yeah it was it was insane because it was you weren't i mean you had people that had had done a bunch of that stuff you had people like um little richard and then a ton of yeah. other people that, that had done yeah. stuff like that and it was it would they were you know pioneers and, and stuff at the For time sure. but i just when i think about just there was just something very unique about the way Prince was and just the way he did things that was just it was it was yeah it was mind blowing so I think when I whenever I I I you know listen yeah no I think you're right because you know there was precursors like mm. the precursor to because there was the little Richards yeah there was always going to be yeah there was always going to be people that yeah were precursors to to him yeah but had the DNA like yeah funkadelic you know you know George Clinton. Yeah. The, wow. this was, it was almost like he became this, and this was a, of an era of ambiguousness and sexuality. You know, other compa- comparables would, I would argue, would, you know, a, a particularly of ethnicity, Grace Jones, mm. uh, uh, 
uh, Freddie Mercury. Yeah. You know, these people were actually celebrating their total and utter creative freedom. At yeah. the same time. In, yeah. in the 80s and 90s were crazy for that shit too. Yeah. It was almost like it was a insane. perfect moment of, hey, here's Prince. <laughs> it was insane. And then, I mean, when you just even think about the fact that, like, he was a bad boy guitarist. Like, he was so sick on guitar. <laughs> fucking Eddie Van Halen, Jimi Hendrix. He, the one he re- oh, yeah, of course. And then you've got people like Jimi Hendrix. But even when I think about just what Prince did, it was just, it, it really felt like, it was just something so special about it. And, and on top of that, just being an, an amazing writer. But yeah, like he really was a an incredible musician. Um, yeah. So yeah, when I think about like just the stuff that, that he done and, and the, the the versatility as well in what he created, it wasn't just like you heard him and just went, oh, you, like you knew Prince could make, create anything. Yeah. You know, you knew yeah. he could create anything and, 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 um, uh, yeah, he, he's he 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 was he was he was a genius. He I mean, really the reason was. why we're getting into this is because I feel like for artistry, mm-hmm. um, particularly in this, this era of uh, of musical preference and the way that you know a lot of things get bottleneck into the grime label, mm. and and that that's fine. But you know, when you take a, accounts of like these heroes, these pe- these past creatives that made millions and millions of dollars, sold millions and millions of records made a life out of it. They became like these, basically these creative funnels that, that mm. just, I don't, I, they had stories associated, you know, and the urban myths, the, the, the folklore of like what Prince used to get up to. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, ultimately what it boiled down to is that, that his artistry and a lot of other artists similar, they, they, uh, they lived it to, they, they, they ran the world dry. They just mm. lived that shit. Mm. Um, mm. And I often think to myself, you know, how many artists out there, comment below, please, how many artists out there actually, actually go that fucking distance to achieve the turnaround that it takes embodying every single aspect of their, of their creative being? Yeah, I was having a, com- a, a, a similar conversation with someone um, the other day about it. And the idea that it's a little harder now. Well, let me not say harder. Let me think, let me think about how I'm saying this. But basically the idea that we we, we were discussing was this, was this idea of a lot of those artists back in the day had, they had, there were like boundaries for them. Mm. And that was that wasn't just it was all it was a reflection of the times obviously and 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 that a lot of them had like boundaries because the society was the way it was and so mm. through that they had obstacles that they had to face and they had which meant that you know the stories were um everything that they did basically what I'm getting at is that like everything that they did came from like a real genuine place because they were like suffering for they were basically suffering for their art it was they were like going through stuff that made it have to be what it was even when you think about um you know old negro spirituals where that came from and what that's helped create in regards to like gospel music which then went on to create like soul which you know was created which created which helped create blues and all these different uh, yeah, yeah, yeah it all came from real life challenges stories and things that they just weren't, you know, yeah. things, it was, it was, you know, it was very, it was a difficult time for, for just people back then. Mm. And so it, imagine that then being translated into art. It was, it was, you know, near, near enough impossible. And all of these people were just, you know, even when you think about people like Marvin Gaye, you think about everyone at the time was going through some type of challenge that they went that they needed to face that's not to say that's not the same case now mm. i just do think things so basically what i was getting to sorry the point i was getting to is that because of that they were living out what they really were talking about and what they were singing and everything in that real you time. Were, in real time so everything you were seeing was a genuine it was it was them it was genuinely them 
Whereas yeah. now, I think it's, we live in a time where it's a lot easier. Everything now is about image. So I think yeah. it's a lot easier to present. Um, not saying this is for every single artist, but it is a lot easier nowadays for artists to present themselves as something they're not. Yeah. Because it's... Packs. You get what I mean? It's gonna like it because it just looks better and it it works for for whatever the brand is at mm. that moment in time. But it you know a lot of those people really lived what they were singing about, what mm. they were writing about, what they were preaching, whatever. And a lot of people actually went through genuine experiences. I think we're a little bit more privileged now, um, and it's a, it's a little easier for us to not really need to. Um, yeah, do any of that. There's, mm, you know, yeah. it's 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 interesting. It was it was an interesting conversation that we had. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's yeah. all of that, isn't it? But but it's exception to this, like with your work, particularly with the still broke tune, mm. um the 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 plight, the Angry, the anxieties, the things that make life what it is. By the way, you need to check this new tune out by, by Sam Henshaw's fire. Sure. Um, uh, I feel like you're suggestive enough in... It's almost like if you're too blatant with the message you're trying to get across, it becomes a bit... Oh, we've heard that before. People have yeah. heard so much music. They just they know yeah. where you're going before you've even said the first verse. Yeah, for the first part of the verse. So so you've got to be the the, the 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 hook, the hook, the catchment of the whole song. It it lays on the suggestions and the narration without drilling it down people's voice. You seem to have that. You you you've, you've achieved that in this song. I feel appreciate that. Yeah, I wanted to make people think without it not being without giving it to them in a way that felt preachy or felt like it was something that they've heard a million times. Yeah. Um, and I think, and sometimes, you know, it's sometimes I think it's just nice to give people things that make them think, you know, I don't think that everything we need is to make us, there's an, I'll put it this way. There's enough artists in the world that are doing things that are making people feel good. Do you mm. know what I mean? Um, and yeah, sometimes I just want people to think, I would like, you know, mainly because I went through that situation. A lot of this came from thinking and thought process, uh, having a thought process and, you know, just going through stuff. And mm. it's like, sometimes I can't remember. I can't really remember. I mean, Mind you, I've not really been listening to like a whole ton of um, music that has um, lyrics and vocals in it. But yeah, I can't really remember the last time I listened to something that just kind of made me go, huh. And I really just pondered on the idea of the song for like a really long time. Like I just sat down and was just thinking about what this person was saying. Mm. And really, you know what I mean? Cracking my brain about it and... You know, even with the video, it was the same thing. I didn't want it to be this very obvious, oh, that's what he's talking about. I wanted mm -hmm. people to like, I wanted people to w take time to figure it out. Do you know what I mean? And if yeah. you needed to go back to it and um, yeah, I think it's important. I think that, you know, it's, yes, the world's in a place where we need to have things that make us feel somewhat better, but that doesn't last long. No. You know what I mean? And so I'd rather be put in a position where I take time to actually think about something. Challenging then, challenging the, the, the yeah, intellect. We, yeah, we need to be challenged. When you look at the way that the world is at the moment, people have just been, you know, giving someone something that feels good because you've been feeling pretty crappy for a while. You know, that's at the end of the day that you're, you're feeding the comfort and you're feeding the complacency and yeah you know that's what we've been we you know when you think about <laughs> when you think about everything that happened last year with the George Floyd thing and you know BLM yeah. it was people were being challenged 
because we had been too comfortable for too long as a society. Yeah, um, that's right. And there's a PTSD to that. There's a knock-on effect after a year that we've had. Yeah, you know what I mean. Even with, yeah, yeah, not even not even necessarily just the Black Lives Matter thing. When you think about what happened with the with um, the Asian. Um, oh, the yeah. Asian, oh, shit, with the yeah. Asian hate thing that's happened this yeah. year, all these, all these Absolutely. things that you know you're looking at stuff that's happening um, with it, between Israel and Palestine and all that sort of stuff. It's stuff that we've just kind of sat down and we've not taken our time to think about because the idea of thinking about it is too exhausting. Yeah, the idea of, the idea of like having to deal with it is too exhausting. But then we can't sit down and say that we want to see change, and we can't sit down and say that we want, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's just, I think there's got to be things in, in life that push us forward, um, not just as people, but as a society. Uh, and there's a time for protest music, but in 2021, yeah. moving into 2022, it's how you present that. How you do it, 100%. Yeah. Crazy. Because there's yeah. loads of, so, you know, there's there's a song for everyone out there and there's a, prote- there's a protest song for everyone out there. Yeah. Th- there's space that's been covered, but uh, but it's cutting through the old noise and making yeah. your stake in the ground is like, yeah, that because this is wrong. Do you know what I mean? It, it's yeah. such, such a balancing act, isn't it? The, the thing, the thing that I also noticed as well was I, I realized for myself, I can't write protest music. I can't like, I, I mean, I probably can, but like, I don't want to because I, I, as a consumer of music, I probably wouldn't listen to it myself because mm. sometimes it just feels a bit too heavy. So I, th- I think with me, I, I was like, how do I make sure that someone can hear what is being said without it feeling like I'm nagging or I'm, you know, preaching? And I, and I <laughs> it's such a this, fine line because you know it, that person. Is, yeah, yeah. Too. Yeah. And I came to this conclusion that I'd rather talk to an individual because I know what I've gone through as just an individual and the conversations I've had and the things that have challenged me and helped me go, Oh, how do I make an, like, how do I make an adjustment? How do I make a change, which then Mm. can maybe affect someone else. Mm. And so for me now, I don't look uh, for me now when I make music, I'm not making it for, I think I've said it before, but I don't make it for like the masses. I don't make it for a bunch of people. I make it for one person and hopefully that one person will hear what I've said and move it on to the next person and they'll move it on to the next person. It just becomes this domino effect. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we're all individuals and we all think individually. And so if I can actually help change one person's, not even necessarily change, but if I could have one person just open their minds to a different thought, yeah, then, you know, mission accomplished you know what i mean for real yeah people see the fucking numbers and they think that they've got to try and appease that many people it's you've got it's one step at a time and it's one ear at a time and it's it's the you've you've gone through major labels you've gone through all these different uh, walks of life that you know ultimately determine a reaction Mm. for me that just seems like yeah of course it's a no-brainer you want to you want to be the shopkeeper of your shop and cater to each and individual person that comes through that door yeah but um but labels they think on mass and they they think very differently seasonally (laughs) depending on what mood they're in and who's in charge um the industry has a a love-hate relationship with that that idea of mm. customer first, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it's it's. Um, I think you. I think as as an artist, you got to know yourself as well, and you got to know like what works for you. And if if you're making because making music for the masses is a specific thing. There's artists that do make music for the masses, yeah. and if that's not your vibe and if that's not what you want to create, because you will have to, you will have to make your music a certain type of way. Yeah. If you want to make music, if, if your goal is to reach the masses. Um, I mean, most times that's not to say that you, that's not to say you'll never reach the masses if you do what you want. But like most times there is a whole formula for, for that. There is a whole world for that. There is a whole scheme or whatever you want to call it yeah. for that. And so if you want to, reach the masses there's a way to do that but i think 
I just I just kind of figured quite early. I was like, I'm not making music for the masses because I, I, I the the masses aren't always gonna hear. Do you know what I mean? And some messages aren't for the masses. Some messages mm-hmm. are just for a group of people. Some messages are just for like one or two people. You don't need to. Yeah, it's. I think it really is just about knowing yourself. Sure. Um, and 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 if you don't, then you will you'll go through a bunch of different routes to to get to where you are eventually. Yeah, uh, yeah, you end up going there. This is the ironic yeah. thing about the, the the industry and people's perceptions and the way that they have to behave or make records or sell. Yeah, thing. it's interesting with with the advent of Spotify and all these crazy platforms that all have their own languages and mm. they all have their own systems. They have their own audiences. And, and yeah, you, know, you can, you can make, actually make any music you love and really believe in with and podcasts as well. You know, mm. this, this is a whole new, a whole new, yeah. So yeah, I mean, there's an audience for everybody like, and okay. To, to a bigger industry. It's like, well, we don't want a little of a lot. We want a lot of one thing. Yeah. But the truth be told, like there's an 80s synth, genre out there yeah. that that love the drive soundtrack that love stranger things and they're yeah. just obsessed with 80s yeah. synth <laughs> no it's big facts and i've been saying it for ages it's like if you as long as you as an artist know what you want to do nothing else ma- like just go for it because it's going we live in a time where there is going to be an audience for you if you want to make if you want to make avant-garde music with i don't know glass wine bottles, I mean, cups or, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Go and do it. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's going to be people that are going to want to sit down and listen to it. Yeah. I think we've sold each other this idea, or we live in this generation where this idea has been sold to us that, like, everything you need to do needs to be the biggest thing. It needs to be the greatest thing. It needs to yeah. be... You need to be Beyonce or you need to be Drake. You need to be huge Mm. in order to like be successful um and i just i don't know i i just it's washed out it is and i don't i think just from having that experience of feeling like that's what i need to do which is a horrible feeling it's a horrible feeling it's exhausting yeah it's exhausting and people don't chasing your tail the whole fucking time (laughs) it really does it really does and and the problem with that as well is once you don't once you haven't, you know, um, when you haven't hit that uh, level, mm. or if you've not accomplished what you sought out to accomplish, you then feel like a failure and you yeah. become ungrateful for what it is you have accomplished. Ego gets in the way as well. 100%. You, you, you feel like, you know, it, it's... It blinds you to the, to the things that you have actually accomplished, which... Oh, my God, yeah. ...is... That sucks. That's really, that's not a great, do you know what I mean? That's not a great place to be where you feel like you should have been, you know, in a better place, but it makes you bitter. It makes you a bunch of things. And so, you know, I I just, yeah, I, I, I feel like, yeah, I just feel like if I can help someone not feel that way and they can mm. see a little, they can see that there's a, it, it can be, you can still be content. Because I think that's a word that a lot of people don't, recognize yeah you're right you're right being content is important you know knowledge yourself that's what we're talking about because mm. if you step actually this follows on something i was talking the other day about so and prince falls into this category pretty heavily okay so back back mm. when we were younger there was there was this you know whether you were whether whether they were kurt cobain or mm. I don't know, particularly with bands, actually. There was this feeling of, you know, they just got plonked into this. They could have been anything. They they are the man off the street. In fact, you know what? They don't even look like they want to be on stage. They look like they're just there smoking a cigarette like they would do in a yeah. dive bar. Like yeah. the, this, this kind of ownership of themselves, it, 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 that's attractive to people. And, and mm. in my own way, I think to myself, like, yeah, like, Kurt, Kurt Cobain, for instance, and mm. Prince and these people, mm. they... It's almost like they just filled the role and they would have been 
something they knew themselves so well yeah, yeah. they held themselves so well it's just yeah. like do you know what i mean it's it, yeah. am i making sense yeah no 100 percent. i think if whenever people ask me what advice i would give to an upcoming artist i would say just have an identity mm. you that because when everyone that you've mentioned they just knew who they were you know what I mean? Whether it like whether it whether it works for a bunch of people or it doesn't, where like, do you know what I mean? Whether people like it or they don't, if you have an identity and what you if you have an identity in in general, like I don't even think that's just like a, a lesson for music. I think if you just have an identity, no mm-hmm. one can sway you in any regard. And but it's funny because it's a lot harder than people think. Yeah. To to actually identify your identity or to find it, yeah. I think a lot of people, a, a lot of the, t- I don't know, because to me the idea of of freedom is being in a in a situation where you have the choice to do something. Do you know what I mean? You just yeah. have the choice, and we, we all have a choice. But like feeling like you have the choice to do something and kind of going, oh, I don't need to do that. That's funny, I know though, I can't, isn't it? That's money yeah. though that does that, yeah. doesn't it? I I think I think I I'll explain it this way. If someone was to come up to me and be like, I'm gonna offer you a million pounds to do whatever, yeah, and I go, eh, it's not for me. I don't I don't need I don't need the like and I'm and I don't and, and I, I obviously wouldn't, I don't have a million pounds, but I'm like, and I probably need those, that million pounds, but I just kind of go, eh, no, I'm good. I don't need it because I just don't want to do that thing. That to me is freedom. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing that I feel, I feel like, like, you know, you hear those stories like, Will I Am and a Black Eyed Peas turned down, God knows how much to do. Da, yeah. da, 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 da. That's, that's confidence and freedom. Yeah. I don't need, you don't need to, yeah, you don't need to like, I don't feel like you need to do it's it's really just about being given the choice or the option to do something. And you're put in a position where it feels like this could be make or break. Yeah. And you can still confidently sit there and be like, eh, I don't want to do it. God, I, I, that, that, that is just the, I, I feel that's quite liberating. No, that is, that's, a, that's literally what liberation is. I, I believe that if yeah. you can't, you cannot sway me with things because I, I believe that that's when you're actually a slave to you become a slave to those things like you're a slave mm. to you're a slave to the to the bag do you know what i mean you're a slave to yeah. all these things here if if i can confidently look you in the eye and be like i don't want to do that because it just doesn't suit what i want to do that's liberation that's freedom to me it's not yeah, going for oh, sure i'm i'm doing this I, i'm free i don't think any of yeah i don't think any of that matters it's a, it's the ability to have self-control is the ability to have discipline is actual freedom. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. On a, on, a, on a side note, actually, this is something that I've been observant to f- for the last maybe month. Um, Wiley. Mm. Now, this could be, this could go spicy. It depends, <laughs> on, it depends on on where you are politically, what your feelings and thoughts are. I'm. It's not about that where I'm coming from, um, mm. although I'm sure it should be. But the, the, the point I'm making is... Uh, I've been seeing Wiley on Instagram again. Oh, is he back? I didn't even realise. Yeah, he's been doing something on some low level, but his identity, mm. his, his impact that he's he owns a scene and for tenaciousness and sheer drive and determination at the face of a whole entire industry that mm. either hates him or doesn't want to uh, be associated with him. Mm. I have n- when you switch on to what he's doing right now, mm. I, I got I got a hand his tenacity, man. I'm like, yo, he is not fucking phased. He's just like gunning, Stupid. yeah. And okay, with every good reason, uh, the the penalization that that he received, I think I th- I think was worthy. Mm. I have to give it to. I have to give it to him, however, that, you know, the cockroach does not die easily. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and I, I mean that affectionately. Yeah. Like, I, 
I just find if, if most artists have the attitude that he has where he's not dependent on something, he's not dependent on a platform, he's not dependent yeah. on anything. He's yeah. just so... He's just doing his thing. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. yo, like, okay, maybe not, maybe Wiley's just the case study, but there's something liberating about that shit. Yeah. Where you don't care anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I think most of the time... The reason why people won't say anything or won't do anything is, is fear. Do you know what I mean? It's fear of what's gonna, you know, fear of what's gonna happen if you say this, fear of what's gonna happen if you don't say this, fear of, you know, just whatever. And a lot of, I mean, there's been so many situations where people have been put in that position and, mm. and, and, but to, yeah, to be able to be in a, to be able to have such, to be at the level that like, he's at or I guess was at or whatever and, and still be able to be like I don't I don't care I'm just gonna say how I feel because I can and you know see there's there still be repercussions and reactions to it and still continue yeah I, I respect that highly as well yeah, yeah. um yeah. yeah 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 it's respect it is respect and yeah. and and it's also like you were saying I and mean, this is all following on from the liberation side of just doing mm. you um mm. Because you are extremely versed at this, um, so I know the conversation is in good hands. Uh, <laughs> when when you look at what people like Wiley are doing, it's the twenty it's the twenty twenty one equivocal of 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 maybe as a case study what what most artists should be doing. And I think in years to come, when all the dust has blown over, and you know, it's happened to some of the you know. Takashi 6 9 he just seems to just keep on riding, you yeah. know? We, we're in a better position. I think we're just in a better position now to do it yeah. um, as, as an industry of artists and, and stuff. Like, you can't really... But, and again, though, I do think that a lot of that comes back down to the idea of social media and all that sort of stuff and, and everything, because you know, as long as you know you're going to have people... There's some people that don't, you know, care at all, that there's yeah. people that are going to support them. But there's a lot of people that are like, man, I've got a bunch of people that will support me based off of whatever I say. And so run with it. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's we we're in a better position to be able to say um what we want and do what we want now as artists. Um, yeah, with good. all the resources that we yeah, it's fucking yeah, great. It's, yeah. With, with all the resources that we have. And yeah, for sure. It's come a long way. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Do you, sure. you the song still broke like mm. do do you feel that way um i i did and i have done um it was you know it was a very because i guess for a lot of people i think a lot of people think that it was a financial thing it's not a financial thing it was a it was an internal thing yeah and um yeah just it, uh, it the song dealt with i guess a bit more of like depression and character and um you know having a a degree of self-awareness and being able to look at myself and go oh wait I'm not as good of a person as maybe I think I am I don't have as good of a character as I thought I maybe did and that's something I need to work on and having all of these things hasn't changed that and it's not going to change that um and recognizing that and wanting to do something about it um i think so i i guess i don't think i i don't feel that way anymore but i but i think a lot of that has just been because i've recognized it and i'm doing what i need to do to you know better myself um as a person and and my faith has played a big part in that as well you know um right nice you know like yeah just really being able to surrender myself more to to god and 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 really be able to a lot of like and a lot of the liberation comes from that for me personally yeah, as well I was say, yeah, for yeah sure. it's, it's not it's not like i think I, I had to learn as well to not perceive my faith as a religion yeah. as well i had to perceive it more as a relationship and the minute i started doing that because when you i think when you think about I don't know. I I could get a bit whatever here, but like I be, I perceive relate I perceive religion as work. Religion Ooh, is to elab me elaborate elaborate that. I perceive religion as work because it's 
a structured thing that you have to constantly do. Like you have to water the flower. Yes, you have. Yeah, like it's you have to do it. You're not oh, for crying out loud. Could get it. Sorry, you have to. You have to do it because you're. You have to do it because you have to, or because there's there's something that you're going to gain from doing yeah. these things and uh, like abiding by these rules and tasks and some and so on and so forth. But the way I look at, you know, being a Christian and, and my faith is that it's it should be relationship. And we have made it religion to some degree. A lot mm-hmm. of it can be, and it can be religion if you allow it to be as well. I think everything in life, as I've said, is a choice. So if you choose to make it religion, it will be religion. But for me, it became this idea of I had to start perceiving it like my relationships with my family or friends. That's not effort. It's not effort to like, yeah, man, to love someone and be there for someone and to just do what, you know, do what I can for that person. And to, you know, to just talk to a friend or just be there for someone and then be there for you. And so when I started perceiving, when I started looking at it from that perspective, um, it, it makes a relation having a relationship with God less of a burden, mm-hmm. and then in turn you start perceiving everything a little different because you're no longer doing these things for you're no longer doing these things to gain something, mm. and I think that's a big thing as well. If you're doing something to gain something, it's it's always going to be a sticky situation. You're not really going to truly find the peace that you you want um but yeah if you're if you're doing it to to gain then it's going to be harder but you know doing it because it's coming from a place of love and doing it because i just want to and want and want a deeper relationship that really helped and changed um that's really helped and changed everything for me and it's really helped and changed the way i um perceive people look at people you know, and with people and just so on and so forth. Yeah. For sure. Oh, it's yeah. fucking awesome. It's great you it's great yeah. you bring this up because religion, you know, it it it's it it has connotations to it. And mm. I think people, you know, the structure that that suggests. Yeah. I don't think people people forget that you can be religious to, you know, drugs. You can be religious to showing up to the pub and I'm, this is very, very big facts. A lot of people don't look at, they don't perceive that, that they think religion is just, yeah. but it really is like, no, if I'm giving my, if I'm giving up myself to, to the, and, and that also then comes back to this idea of um, liberation because yeah. essentially you're, you're a slave to those types of things. And I think sometimes people don't look at religion as people just can only just look at religion as, um, you know, yeah these these things but it's it's more it it is really um yeah you can worship other things (laughs) you know you can you can worship yourself and and you know that's that's the the, yeah there there is a it's a weird one it is a weird one did your did your your vocal abilities did it start from a uh, faith point of view, did it start in church? Did it start in the halls of your school? Where did where did it where did where did that journey begin? Like, where did you find this voice, man? Yeah, my um, my dad's a reverend, so I I grew up in the church. And, hey, I got um, the That's fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I grew up, I grew up, I grew up in the church, and um, yeah, everything. I, I was playing drums from when I was maybe about four. Ooh, um, okay. And then, yeah, just started learning other instruments as I was going along. I was just picking them up. I didn't start singing till I was maybe singing was the last thing I did. I think I, I, wow. I so I was playing drums when I was about four. I think keys about age of fourteen, maybe a little younger. Mm-hmm. Um, or was I playing guitar? No, and then I learned how to play guitar at like maybe the age of um, fifteen, sixteen, and then by like seventeen or eighteen, I just decided to start singing. And you know what it is, bro? It's like these structures, these fundamental disciplines that you have been brought up with in your life, yeah. they determine the outcomes that are set. Like these skill sets that Shaping. you have, mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was it was weird because obviously at the time I didn't perceive them as like, 
and perceive them as much. It's just like, oh, I can do this. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, sick. I've got like, I've been blessed with this gift, but I didn't perceive it as, it's one thing to have the gift. It's like another thing to recognize sort of the purpose. And yeah. so I kind of was just, I just, I could do it. And and then eventually I think I, as I've gotten older, I've kind of realized, oh, wait, no, I need to be doing more with this, you know? Yeah, and then, man. And What's the point in a car with no destination? No, nah, honestly, for real. Yeah. 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 But yeah, I grew up in the church and, and um, learned, learned pretty much everything that I know through and I, to, you know, some degree of still am learning everything that I know from there. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I fell away from it for a while and then uh, came back at some point. <laughs> yeah. And, and I think when it became, again, a choice, I think when it was like something that I knew I wanted to do and it wasn't just my, you know, parents. Faith um, gives you gut. Faith gives you instinct. Big facts. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's true. It's Whichever, true. you know, and it, it, religious religion aside, it's like if you've got an intuition inside you, if you've got a something inside you that says, yeah, 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 this is the one. Yeah. No, you know, you don't, you can't falter. You don't falter, do you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So what's the future? What's the plan? Oh. Where's the, where's the destination? So I'm, there's a bunch of things I want to do. Um, I think my focus at the moment is obviously this project, finishing having this project out. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just want to keep creating. I don't know what level, on what level, um, you know, but I, I, I become, I become, oh, someone's here. Um, I've become quite, um, what's the word? I think this pandemic's really excited me in regards to the idea of like being creative. Yeah. And just wanting to like do that more. I've been, I, I, I've been writing stories and coming up with concepts and stuff. And, you know, I'm, I'm totally into film and TV series and stuff like that. So just um, been trying to do, you know, little bits for that and, and come up with like new stories and stuff. I'm a massive comic nerd. So, excuse me, been working on like a graphic novel. Yo, you need to check out Proctor Valley Road comic. Proctor Valley you... Road? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My okay, boy, so... Big up my boy Trip. He's just written a comic and it's just come out. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll dig that. It's oh, sick. amazing. I'll definitely check that out. Yeah. I, I, and I mean, I've totally gotten so into um, independent, um, you know, um, comic creators and stuff like that, because obviously I want to do it. So I'm just like, this is, yeah, it's, it's great finding out about new people and stuff like you that. Know, so, I should connect you with him because like he's, yeah, he's please. doing some really cool things at the moment. He's, you know, the comics, comics are like, uh, they're like your entry hole to, yeah, crazy script writing and things like that. Yeah. These things are testing beds, aren't yeah. they? It's, it really has, like, I think I've actually learned how to script write through writing my graphic novel. Um, <laughs> so it's, you know, because it's quite a similar structure in regards to writing them. So, um, so it's been, it's been great. It's been, it's been amazing being, being able to do that. I've been like doing some um, clothing design stuff as well. So mm. just been going a little deeper into the, you know, I'm starting off with a merch, but like we're going a little deeper into it now and, um, yeah, just been working on building that and stuff. So it's just been, I, I mean, I just want to try a bunch of things, you know, and see what happens. And, and um, yeah, man, I just, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling just excited to just do new things. So, um, and sun's shining, baby. The sun's out it really there. Is. It really is, man. It really is. I'm, I'm very excited. Yeah. And then hopefully more music um, will come. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, yeah, viva, viva la Sam Henshaw, man. Big <laughs> up yourself. It, bro. bro, seriously, it, it's awesome to hear your form and it gives people a great introduction. And those who've just been introduced to you just to know the ins and outs, the 360 of talent yeah. that's going on over there. Oh, bless you, man. Thank you so much for having me. This has been a great conversation. Yeah, man. Hold tight. Don't leave just yet, but I'm going to say yeah. goodbye to everybody before we drop out. It's all good, man. There you go, Sam Henshaw. You know the drill. Go follow him. Go show show some love. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Send those uh, shares and all that all around. Uh, still broke is out. Get involved. Killer Keller podcast. We are like in was out of fashion. Thanks for joining me, Sam. Big up. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, bro. You stay lucky, people. Till next week. Peace. 